guilt, guilt could be the result of one of two different things. Um, firstly, guilt can be guilt that is not ours. In other words, it's somebody has uh, impressed it upon us, usually our parents. Um, and if that's the case, then all we need to do is recognise the truth about the guilt, and the guilt will actually leave us. If the guilt is ours, then usually it relates to the law of compensation that I was talking to last night, where we have done some things that have damaged other people, and we need to go through the process of actually feeling that damage that we've done to other people through our course of action that we chose to do. And that process you'd call the law of compensation, and that's a different type of guilt, if you like. That is a guilt that you need to allow yourself to feel as to why you actually did those actions. So, so let's say, uh, in the first instance, let's say uh, my mother felt guilty all of her life, and whenever there was a sexual conversation, or there's anything sexually discussed, so in other words, she had sexual guilt, let's say. From a very young age, then, I will feel guilty about sexual matters. Now, it's not really my guilt, it's really my mother's. And, and it's something that she has impressed upon me. And so in that case, all I need to do is see the truth is that, firstly, it's my mother's guilt that I'm actually trying to feel. And secondly, it's, uh, it's not an emotion that's necessary because it's, uh, it, you know, it, it's not true. You know, there's, no, there's no problems with sexuality from God's perspective because God created sexuality. So, so just because your mum had that viewpoint and pressed that onto you emotionally, it doesn't mean it was true. Once you, once you accept those truths emotionally, then usually the feeling of guilt leaves you. In the second case, if I have done things to harm somebody else, so let's say, um, let's say in the case of sexual guilt, let's say I was a man in a relationship and I cheated on my partner. Now, that's a totally different situation because that is a situation where I am guilt is going to help me trigger the underlying emotion as to why I actually took the action of treating on my partner, che cheating on my partner. And guilt is a way for us to actually access that underlying emotion. Guilt in both cases is not really an emotion. Okay. There's underlying emotions that we're suppressing with guilt generally, um, or actions that we've taken that we're not accepting, so fully accepting emotionally. It seems more complicated. <laughs> it is more complicated. And for yourself, you mean? Or, so can you describe the guilt you're feeling? Well, first of all, I have trouble to recognize why do I feel why do I feel guilt? Like because it's my mom or because I did something to somebody. So I have big trouble in, in this recognition. And mm -hmm. when like, I just feel guilty, but I know why. But I feel guilty for everything. Let's say I invite you to go somewhere and it's rain starts. And I will feel really guilty that I invite you and it's bad weather, you know, it's rain. So I just like, I guilty for everything. Can you see that guilt is a fear in your case then? It's actually fear. That people will not accept me? Mm -hmm. uh, there's that. There's also a guilt, a fear that uh, that you'll be judged by by the actions you took. Yes, can be. Yeah. So it's underlying feelings. Yeah, so you need to have a look at the underlying feelings, like why are you you accept people's judgment and why do you feel bad if people judge you and all of those kind of things, because that's where your guilt is actually coming from. Guilt is like anger and jealousy and other types of emotions in that they are capping emotions. They're not the actual emotion. So it's just a good idea to break it on small pieces, right, and see what it's what well, it triggers guilt in me, right? So what is yeah, what triggers the feeling of guilt? Because because that's the real emotion. Guilt is just the result or the effect. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So you know how you feel guilty about all certain, all different types of circumstances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You will actually find there's a common thread between them all when you start looking at your fear mm -hmm. as to what what creates the guilt, which is your fear of some other emotion within you, and it's a fear of you know being misunderstood and, and being, you know, um, a fear that other people will reject you and there's quite a lot of different fears associated with it in your case. Yeah, as you're talking about it, I can see different layers. Yeah. All this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to feel the guilt. The guilt is actually the effect of, the emo of not feeling the emotions underneath. Okay. Just like anger, mm -hmm. you don't have to feel the anger because anger is an emotion that you create 
in order to avoid other emotions underneath. So you could choose to just go straight into the emotions underneath. But if you don't choose to go straight into the emotions underneath, then the effect will be that you'll need to feel the effect emotion, which is guilt or anger or jealousy or whatever. <coughs>